Hello, and welcome to Getting Started with Orem. Today, we'll be exploring how to get started using SalesLoft. First, before logging into Orem via SalesLoft, log into your SalesLoft account using the internet browser you'll be utilizing when operating Orem. For example, you will not be able to log into SalesLoft in Firefox and then log into Orem using Chrome. You'll need to use the same browser for both logins. As a note, if possible, Orem recommends that you use the Chrome browser for the best results when calling. Now, to begin using Orem, you'll click on New tab in your browser. You should now see a new tab next to the window where you are logged into your SalesLoft account. In this new tab, go to OremHQ.com. In the upper right hand corner, you will see the button to select to log in. Once the login page has loaded, you'll see four different options to choose from. Login with Salesforce, Login with Outreach, Login with SalesLoft, and Login with Google. Today, we're going to be exploring using Orem with SalesLoft, so that's what we're going to choose for our login option. If for some reason you see an error message, this may mean that your account or trial has not been completely set up. In order to use Orem for the first time, please contact us at sales at if the login was successful, the next thing that you should see is a screen asking for permissions for the Orem app. Please accept these permissions to use Orem. And just like that, you're now signed into Orem using SalesLoft. It's that simple. Now that you're logged in, there are a few initial steps that must be completed before you can start dialing. For SalesLoft users, you can modify your call dispositions, which are how you want to tag the outcome of your calls, by navigating to the top of the Orem browser and clicking on the Settings tab. You'll see the screen shown here. You can see a selection for Connect Dispositions, Meeting Dispositions, and the default SalesLoft fields for all users. These will be the fields that will be displayed during your call sessions. Your dispositions are tags for what happened when your call was dialed, and sentiments are what happened once you connected with someone, meaning the outcome of your conversation with your targeted prospect. You'll see that your connect dispositions and call tasks have already been imported in from SalesLoft. You'll just need to uncheck require sentiments and require dispositions in SalesLoft, which can be found in the settings panel under the communication section. Both boxes will need to be unchecked to effectively log calls to SalesLoft and move to the prospects along in their cadence. For the disposition section in Orem, I'm going to only add connected. You want to make sure to only use dispositions here that show that you have booked a meeting. If desired, you can set up a note section in the settings tab as well. Whatever you select in this note area will appear on the screen in front of you when you're talking with a prospect. Further down is your cause disposition mapping. This is where you can choose how the options that Orem has provided are mapped to the ones you have selected. This mapping is used when Orem automatically hangs up on a call. Orm will determine the cause of the ended call, and that cause is logged into your CRM and analytics panel. You can map a cause to one of your own dispositions, and Orm will automatically log that disposition in place of the cause going forward. If you need to adjust your time zone, this will also be where this change can be made. Again, make sure to save any of your changes. So now that you have set up your dispositions, you can click on the Dialer tab to the left of the Settings tab. You will now see the screen here that prompts you to select a list of prospects to dial using the sidebar. To begin, you'll need to choose your call cadence and configure your dialing options. You'll need to click in the search box on the left-hand side. If you already had a cadence ready to dial in SalesLoft, you type the name of the report into the box beneath the search list section. Since this is your first time, you'll probably not see any names of lists appear. Just to note, before we add a new sales loft report, you've probably noticed the blue dot that appears around the search list box. This blue dot indicates that there are help options available to you. You can follow the prompts of the dot to help guide you through the process as well. To hide the help notifications, you can click the wand icon next to the hide help. As a reminder, if you have to make a new cadence, start with a simple calling cadence and make sure to name it something that you will easily remember. In addition, you'll only be able to see the information in Orem that is in this cadence, so make sure everything is correctly showing. 
If you are happy with what is showing, check the cadence for Calls Due in order to dial from Orem. Once your cadence has been made, make sure it is saved and then go back to the Orem tab in your browser. Click the Browser Refresh button so Orem can search for any new sales loft reports. Once the page has refreshed, you can begin to type the first few letters of your new cadence name in the search box. The cadence should now appear as an option to select. For this example, I will click Example Dialer 08. If this process is successful, it will take you to the screen you see here. Notice you see the name of your cadence at the top and all of the prospects from the cadence you just imported as well as the same fields your cadence showed in SalesLoft. So let's now take a minute to explore our phone and dialing options. Under dialing options, you can now check to make sure the correct phone field information is appearing. If your list is showing mobile and you do not want to dial mobile numbers, you can delete that field by placing your cursor to the right of the field in that area and clicking backspace or delete. If your phone field is not showing, Start typing in the name of the phone field in the Dialing Options box. Press Enter when the field appears to select this option. You can continue to add more phone field options from your report by clicking in the phone fields area and view any available options in the drop-down list. Under the Parallel Call section, you can select how many numbers you'd like to dial in parallel. This is how many numbers do you want the system to run at once. It will stop dialing once it detects that a human has answered the call. Orem can dial up to 5 dials in parallel, but you can contact your account manager to dial up to 10 if you're experiencing a low connect rate. The best practice is to choose a parallel number that gets you connected roughly every 90 to 120 seconds. This will give Orem time to complete call tasks for you and move to the prospect to the next step of the cadence. If you select a power dial, you'll dial one number at a time. With power dialing, you have a few options you can also choose. You can have the system leave or skip voicemails and dial trees if they're detected, as well as skip to the next number after 30 seconds of ringing. To choose these options, just click the box next to the desired selection. For the call from number section, this is the number that Orm will be using when calling your prospects. Each month, you can remove up to 10 numbers and add 10 new ones. This helps you cycle through many different phone numbers. So, you could either call from the default phone number shown in the call from number box, or you can select a call from a new phone number. To add a new number, simply click the plus sign and you can search for numbers you would like to add. It'll be easiest to search for numbers based off area codes. You can choose a number in your territory or a number that is from the area code from which you are calling. Just as an example, I'm going to choose to search for numbers starting with the calling prefix of 910. When a list of numbers appear, click the circle next to the number you would like to add and then choose to add number. You can now see in the drop down box where the new number has been added. To delete a number, Select the number you wish to remove from the drop-down list and then click the trash can icon. You'll then need to confirm that you wish to delete the selected number. Just as a note, numbers are not available in all calling prefixes. You can also select a different number to forward calls to if you choose. By clicking the forward calls option, you can designate a number for Orem to use when forwarding incoming calls from leads that may try to get back in touch with you. Input the number you want to use and click the blue Call Me to verify your phone number. Next is the voicemail area. This may or may not appear as an option for you and will depend on your account setup. If you do not see voicemail as an option and you would like to add one, please contact an Orem representative to upgrade your account. If you see the voicemail area as an option, you can choose whether or not a voicemail is left for your intended recipient. You can create more than one voicemail for different calling purposes and cadences. Then, when you start a dialing session, you can choose the right voicemail for that session. You can record as many of these voicemails as you want. For now, we'll just create a default voicemail message to get started by pressing the plus button and adding a new voicemail option. 
You'll want to give your voicemail a name and then provide the number you would like Orm to call so that you can record your voicemail. Click Call Me and you can proceed with recording your voicemail. It is very important that you listen to the voice prompts when Orm calls to ensure that you have recorded and saved your voicemail properly. To check, visit the voicemail section in the Orm dialer. If you don't see the voicemail option you just recorded in the drop-down list, then your voicemail was not saved correctly and you'll need to try the process again. If you do not wish to leave a voicemail for your prospects, simply select Don't Leave a Voicemail in the drop-down. The system will simply hang up when an answering machine is encountered and Orem will not leave a voicemail. In the main content area, you can see a few ways to edit the list of prospects. By clicking the filter button, you can apply various filters to limit which prospects to dial. For instance, you can filter by a person's time zone, their tag, and step. If you choose Program Dial Trees, Orm will filter the list to dial by name directories and record the digits you press to find a prospect. Then, Orm will play back those digits automatically for future calls. Once you've made your choices for filtering, click the blue filter button and Orm will find the prospects that match at least one value in each filter. Another way to filter is to click the checkboxes next to the individual prospects to manually select them. Then you'll have three options, cancel, remove, or snooze. Cancel will prevent these prospects from being dialed this time around the list, but they'll show up again if you dial the list later on. By selecting Remove, this ensures that this number is never dialed by Orm again. When you choose to snooze a number, it will make the prospects reappear after a specified duration. If you choose to cancel or snooze, Orm will remember these numbers for the future and will automatically input the digits for your future calls, so you'll never have to manually input these again. Once you've configured your dialing options and edited your list, it's now the moment you've been waiting for. You're ready to start dialing. You'll first need to join the waiting room, which is like a staging area that Orm will use to bridge you into live calls with your prospects. Let's now look at your dialing options. Option one is to dial in by browser. You'll click the Dial In Browser button in the sidebar to the left-hand side. Orm will ask you for permissions to access your microphone. You'll need to grant access and then wait for the sidebar to say dialed in. You will now listen to the automated voice and type in the code you hear. Once you've typed in your code, press join to be entered into the waiting room. Now, your second option for dialing is to dial in by phone. To do this, you'll need to click the see alternate option button in the sidebar and dial the number provided. Listen to the automated voice and type the code it says in your browser, then press join. You have now entered the waiting room using this second option. Just as a note, do not dial in with a VOIP dialer or voice over internet protocol like RingCentral, Outreach, SalesLoft's dialer, Dialpad, etc. You can now begin dialing by pressing the start button in the main content area. You'll see the prospect's name highlighted and the color of the highlight will indicate the call's current status. You'll see green if it's connecting and it'll turn red when the call has ended. When a prospect connects, you'll hear beep and see important information about the person which has all been pulled directly from the call cadence you imported. You can use all this information as context for the conversation with your prospect. Once you have finished your call, hit the disconnect button to end the conversation. As the call is ended, you'll be put back into the waiting room so that you can continue dialing. When you're ready to dial the next prospect, press Next. If we were dialing using the parallel dialing option, your dialing screen may look like this. You can see multiple numbers being dialed at once. If someone were to pick up, it would stop dialing and you would be able to talk to that prospect. Notice, as the numbers disconnect, the system automatically begins to call the next numbers. If you need, you can press pause to pause dialing, and then when you're ready, you can click resume to have the system continue dialing the remainder of the prospects of your list. And finally, at any time you'd like, you can view the analytics tab to see a summary of your dials. You can analyze the dispositions you've selected over various time periods, 
see how long you've dialed or talked, and get a breakdown of the call results such as received voicemail, failed calls, busy, dial trees, etc. You can again select the user for which you'd like to see the data. Then select the mode of dialing such as power or parallel, and also select your desired time range to see the number of calls by day, week, month, etc. You can additionally filter by specific dispositions by unchecking or checking each disposition of the left-hand side of the page. If you had selected all users in the user section, you can see individual performance metrics under the user stats section. If you click on call history at the top, you can again see similar call information and customize the data by selecting dispositions on the left-hand side. Thank you for taking the time to review this Getting Started with Orem tutorial, Sales Loft version. If you have any questions, please remember that you can search for answers in the Help Desk section or reach out using the online chat feature.